Welcome to the channel. It's my first uh, golf review, if you would call it. So this is Mangtastic, and today I'm gonna do a quick review of my golf push cart that I bought about a year and a half ago. It's a Sun Mountain micro cart, four wheels. Um, yeah, that worked out well. One thing uh, that was supposed to hold, apparently not. So to open it up, there's a latch here that I forgot to latch. Open that. You push it up with your feet, latch it where you want it to go, and there's a lever right here that clicks it in that locks it in place. So okay, there you go. Looks real nice. Very stable. Very stable. It's got a pocket here. It's got one spot for one ball. We got some holes for tees here. And this is actually for pencils. I'm not sure why you would carry three pencils, but and then there's a little magnet right here to hold your scorecard. Now this flips up. You can put your phone, any personal small items in there. You know, maybe keys up here. It's got a little rubber thing sitting on here. That's supposed to be taped down, but uh, tape doesn't stick very well. So I had to re-glue it myself. Uh, lever right here. This locks it. And there's only one lock on this. And it goes to this wheel right here. The lock is actually a pin that goes right in here. That's the only lock you have. Um, works good as long as you're not on a hill or anything like that. Uh, push is great. Um, you got the only strap you have to strap down your bag, like this right here. Uh, so this is the only strap. You actually don't have a strap down the bottom at all. The bottom, the wheels here, right here, you can, there's a little button here, push it to make it go in, or even, even further, or push it go out. So I actually have it all the way out. Um, I actually modified it a little bit. What I did was I, I literally put some rope here to keep, to keep this pin from falling out. Because if you don't have that there, this will actually pull all the way out. Um, and the other thing is the plate that your bag sits on is this right here. It's not very stable. As you can tell, I've got a lot of scratches here. Um, and that's why because really there isn't any plate right here to hold it. If you don't flip this up, you, your bag literally falls off. So that's what happens. Um, here, I don't know if they designed this specifically for Sun Mountain bags, but it's contoured a little differently. So it doesn't fit all the bags. I've got three bags here, actually four bags here. I'm gonna try. Uh, so what I did is I also modified this. I actually put some Velcro fuzz on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little fuzz here. Otherwise, it's just hard plastic. So I put that there to kind of help soften it up. Uh, the latch system basically just latches on right here to the circle. And it just holds it in place. Yeah, it's very sturdy and it's very springy. Kind of like a um, cord, uh, rubber band cord. Um, other than that, it does come with a cup holder. Uh, it does have an umbrella holder right here that screws on to the top here. Yeah, it works real nice. Um, and then you just obviously have to angle this up depending on how high you want your umbrella or if it's going to cover your golf clubs or cover you. The only other thing that I did modification on is I put this little holder here. And what this holder is for is like a, a phone holder. This is actually meant for a bike, but this, you can twist around, stick your phone on there, and the phone only fits sideways. Most phones are too long now, so I stick it here. I stick my phone on here, and it holds the phone pretty, pretty firmly. I have tried on the glass here to put one of those car phones that's suction onto the plastic, but that didn't hold because it was just too bouncy. Didn't work very well. This is much sturdier, and uh, I forgot, I got this, I think, from Walmart or something like that. Probably two, three bucks, I think it was, but for the prices now, I'm not sure how much that's going to be. Uh, other than that, that is the first cart review, 
So now I'm actually going to put my bag on here. So we're going to start with a small bag. I'm going to start with the, this is obviously a kid's bag. Obviously that doesn't fit very well because the bottom of the bag is right here. So definitely not for a kid, unless you're going to put some sort of support down below. It has this hanging way up here, which then it means you got to build it up like a big block or something like that. Next I have is my, my ping bag. So this is a, this is a, a carry bag. So I'm gonna stick this on here. Looks like it works pretty good. It's sitting on here, but it just fits perfectly. Right where, where the support bars are. It sits around this little groove here. So it works out good. Strap that down. So I was saying there's no strap for the bottom. So what I had to do is I actually had to get a separate strap myself. I strapped the bottom. I wrap it around this bar right here. These bars right here. And then I wrap it around my bag itself. Uh, tends to hold pretty good. Um, there are a few things I, you know, don't like about that. Is one, you shouldn't have to do that. Two, it should should be provided because there are some carts out there that do actually have that on there. Which I'm surprised this one doesn't for the price that we paid for it. Next bag. This is a bigger cart bag. Um, this bag is a revolver bag, big, big bag. Stick it on there. Now, yep, fits on here. Okay. Once again, I would put the strap in the bottom, but I'm going to show you what this looks like right here. So as you notice, that big gap right there it doesn't sit in there very well. I stick my fingers in there. So what happens is that starts to rub on the bag and then after a while you get this wearing out of the bag in this part. So that's why I put this fuzz here uh, to help it, but really it should have been contoured a little bit more circular or some I had I seen they stretch out a little bit and they actually this is nice and flat and it curves around circular wise. Um, so that's one thing I don't really like. So what happens is when you get that, like for example, this bag here, my Titleist car bag, it's a little older, but it starts wearing on the end here, just like that on both sides, right back there. So it starts wearing on that back piece. So, you know, I like the cart, but I can to carry it otherwise uh, my old car which is the three-wheeled sun mountain one with the i was like small kids tires on there that actually worked much better is quieter uh softer this one when you're going through hills you hear that it's like that the whole entire time you're pushing the cart it moves back and forth because of these little joints that they have everywhere Joints here, down here. Um, this whole piece shifts up when you close it. There's a bar right here that folds up that way when you close it. Um, so all of it actually bounces back and forth and it's pretty noisy. And uh, honestly, when you're pushing the, the push guard here, it actually gets a little annoying because you're, you're trying to be quiet, but at the same time, you know, you hear that the whole entire time i did try tightening everything it still makes that same noise and then this is just stiffer it doesn't move quite as easily to close and to open but it still makes that sound flexing noise i'm not sure what you really want to call it the whole entire time um 
that's right, spraying WD-40 on it, silicon spray on it, doesn't work. Uh, I've sprayed, you know, WD-40 on bearings here. And with the bearings, as you notice, there's a nice cover there. So I, you can pop those off, the little black dots there, little screwdriver, it pops right off. It's pretty cool. It says Sun Mountain on there, which is very cool. The first day I got it, you notice? I'm missing something? Yes. First day I got it, went on the golf course, pushed it, was walking the whole day, got back home, this one was gone. And then the funny thing is, a week later, I was golfing, I found it, I put it back on, and you know, you, you have to push it in pretty good. You have to literally hit it in. Well, a week later, this one popped off. I couldn't find that one. And then I went out again. Then the other side popped off. And I can't find either of those two again. Um, not sure why they're so loose. I mean, I use a little rubber mallet. And I tap both those two, uh, all four. And the, bob, the back two still came off. So, you know, wasn't very happy about that. But, um, yeah, other than that... Works real good. I like it. Um, I wish there was a little bit bigger storage. I know some carts they have that little extra pouch that you can hang here to go down here. That would have been cool. Um, and I don't know. I think uh, I like this one, but I've seen the Bag Boy one. That seems to be the same style. It seems like the framework on the Bag Boy one is a little firmer, stiffer, less moving parts so it's not quite as noisy i've seen somebody with one on the golf course and when i was walking next to them and you don't hear this rattling back and forth so that that's just my opinion uh other than that yeah that's the only few things i didn't like was mainly the rattling and then this part where it, it literally digs into your golf bag back of your golf bag rubs it off um, for a while I tried to put styrofoam on here. It started wearing down on the, the foam like a pipe insulation or the swimming noodles. Um, yeah, I, I padded this up. Still after a while it started wearing that away. So, not sure what else to do. And then also there's no strap for the bottom, which would have been helpful. Even on my old one with the three wheel, that actually had one on the bottom. That worked great. Kept the bag from moving. Because if you're bouncing and it slips off that plate, you don't lose your bag. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, hopefully I showed you something. Um, but yeah, maybe my next one won't be a Sun Mountain. Maybe a Bag Boy. Um, I'm going to do a review on my buddy's Click Gear. Um, and that'll be an up and coming video. So keep, please keep watching. If you like it, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell notification. All right, thank you.